So, for the second day of experiments, we had to start the day with some basic cleanup and reconstruction. After having tested the sprinkle head at different pressures, we settled on about 0.8 bar, which gave a flow rate of about 65 liters per minute. The pipe that was connected to the head was made a little bit too long, so we had to be a little bit creative on how to mount it on top. With just some rock wool and some wooden planks that was nailed down, we managed to get a very secure fit. And as for the sprinkle head, it's manufactured to make a 15 degree angle inwards to cool off the window. So we just slightly bent it up a little bit to get a more vertical wall of water instead. Also, next week will be the regen. Yeah. And we can't do a forsake with the regen. No, we can't try. We'll do the next forsake in the morning already. Yeah, but then it's the last forsake. Yeah. So it must be with the window. Yeah. Or else it's good. If it's good enough results without the window, then we'll just do a control forsake. Do the same again. Ja, 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 da vil droppe hele vinduet da. Ja. Men poenget er at det begrenser hvor mange forsøk man kan gjøre. Så jeg synes det er bedre å ha en lengre barn i dag. Her, så er When we walked past the window, it didn't really feel like a scolding hot shower or anything like that. It was more of a pleasant steam, if anything. It was quite comfortable, actually. Even though we were quite comfortable walking past the window, the accept criteria of the 5 kilowatts per square meter for the heat radiation was breached after about 6 minutes and staying about 7 kilowatts for the most part afterwards. It then later maxed out a little bit over 8 kilowatts after about 22 minutes. As for the accept criteria of smoke accumulation, it requires a clear vision of about 10 meters distance for a height of 2 meters. That's quite hard to measure with good accuracy. I personally watched through the footage and it seemed like there was about 2 minutes and 34 seconds of bad vision during the first 10 minutes, meaning it was bad vision for about 26% of the time. This criteria can be worked around though if you make sure to design the building with an extra point of exit. As you can see, the sprinkle head alone doesn't really seem to allow for a fully open window against these criteria, but it drastically reduces the heat radiation compared to the sprinklers, and that's for sure. Anyways, thanks for watching. It was quite clear that we needed to come back the next day to try the sprinkler with a normal two-layered window installed with a 45 degree opening to see if this can improve temperatures. So stay tuned and have a good one.